guys, so my name is Gabriela Quinones and welcome back to my channel. Um, be sure to like this video if you like it, be sure to subscribe and be sure to comment down below whatever you want because apparently whenever I tell you guys to comment something, y'all don't comment it. So I just comment whatever you want. Um, so actually for this video, I will not be talking during the video. Um, I will be doing a voice voiceover and speeding up the video. Um, but basically the idea behind this video is that um, a while ago I did this thing um, that was going around on Snapchat. It's still kind of going around. But you send a link to an app where you can... I'm sorry for the dirty mirror, but like, I'm not sorry enough to fix it, so... <laughs> um, where you send a link and people... Uh, tell you whatever they want to tell you about you or like whatever and it's completely anonymous so you don't know who said it and well um, when I sent it the first time I got a comment that said um, something along the lines of hold on I'm pretty sure I have the screenshot <laughs> With the amount of energy you spend concerned with your appearance, I'd expect you to be a shell of a human, but you should prove me wrong. Well, I had thought, hmm, I'm not going to waste my time and prove this person wrong because you either know me or you don't know me. But the last video that I had, or the last video that I did, I talked about my feelings and it got really good responses from the people in my life. Um, not a lot of people commented because hi, <laughs> I'm a small mm, channel. Mm, mm. Um, but in person, I did get a lot of um, compliments on it. And a lot of people told me that they really liked the video, and I never really got that many compliments on a video. So I figured, why not do a thing where I do what I like, doing makeup, while a voiceover talks about something completely different. <laughs> So, yeah, so, um, the voiceover, I think, will probably talk about something along the lines of how, um, I'm not a shell of a human, or whatever that means, so, enjoy my voiceover and the fastness that is me doing my makeup, so, enjoy. Okay, okay. so, let me turn on the volume because I'm already hearing myself and I hate it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to start off from the beginning. So, in middle school, I was bullied, you know, as most middle schoolers are. Um, sixth grade year, not so much. I was super awkward, and I just... Mm, I'll talk about sixth grade year, because it's alright, but seventh grade year? Mm -mm. Seventh grade year does not exist to me because it was a very, very rough year. Um, I had these group of friends who were my quote-unquote friends, and they just bullied me. Well, I say they, but it was just this one particular girl who everyone seemed to love, and everyone seemed to like her. And I... Well, she decided to target me, and she would just tell me how I was too skinny, and she would tell me how I was annoying, and my laugh was annoying, and how nobody liked me, and, like, the, she would straight up tell me really mean things that, you know, you wouldn't necessarily tell someone that you even hate, let alone someone that's your friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it really hit me hard, and, um, I started noticing, or I guess I started you know, kind of making this idea that everyone hates me and that nobody talked to me because of that or whatever. And so it kind of resulted in me trying to overcompensate by trying to, I don't know, try to be this likable person that everyone liked. And so I would try to get, you know, the attention of everyone and I would try to, um, you know, make people laugh, and I would try to be something that I wasn't necessarily, or that I necessarily wasn't. Um, you know, I was, I just, I don't know, I, I felt like I had to change, I felt like I had to be something different, because obviously, you know, this popular girl doesn't think that I'm good enough, so I must not be, you know? 
so that was my seventh grade year it was a really rough year um I was just not true to myself I was just not happy and it was just not good <laughs> um eighth grade year was a little bit better um you know I really started to feel confident a little bit not too much because again still middle school <laughs> Um, and then come freshman year, I was very insecure and I resort resorted back to how I felt at seventh grade year and how I acted seventh grade year. I was still friends with this girl and I was trying really, really hard f to be someone that everyone liked. And my idea of that was, you know, you have to be quiet when no one speaking to you you can't really you know approach people you can't make stupid jokes like your jokes have to be well thought out and by the time you think about them the timing has passed so you don't you miss the opportunity and um and I felt like I was too skinny so I didn't really feel confident in the way that I looked so I just didn't feel confident talking to people and so you know it, it just kind of all leads back to the whole fact that I wish I could talk to people but I, having the mindset that nobody is going to accept me for me so I just felt like I needed to be something or someone else. So that was my freshman year and my sophomore year. <laughs> Um, but I joined Key Club, and in my last video I talk about how I, um, how it helped me and stuff like that. Um, also, side note, in this video I do like a green eye look, um, with a red lipstick for like a split second, and the whole red lipstick thing was just to be like, like, hey, you suck if you tell me that I can't wear red lipstick. Because I don't know what it is, but guys always tell me that I shouldn't wear red lipstick. And it just makes me really upset. But if you're wondering about the green uh, eyeshadow, it's because I watched Nikki Tutorials do a green eye look that same day. And uh, I wasn't recreating her look, but I guess I had, like, green eyeshadow in the back of my brain. So, like, that's why I did it. Uh, that I don't know you know like I'm not trying to copy her like I definitely watched her video and was like oh green eyeshadow and then I saw the green eyeshadow and I was like huh why am I gravitated to that green eyeshadow but yeah so I don't keep the red lipstick I change it to a gloss I just wanted to point that out there okay cool anyway move it on so now because of that club I found confidence in myself and I really felt like um people accepted me for who I was but I found that pretending or putting a facade that I'm more confident than I actually am really helps. So I'll make jokes like, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll just make jokes about how like I think that I'm the queen of the world and how like I think I'm so pretty and I think that everybody likes me and like people should carry me and like this and that. like. You know, I make jokes like that because I feel like if people think that I'm confident, then they're more prone to gravitate towards me. And over time, the whole, like, pretending I'm confident thing really turned into me being confident. So I'm not saying that, you know, fake it till you make it doesn't work. But, you know, I, I don't, I think people just don't, understand that not everything is as it seems you know I put on this big smile every day I put on my happy shoes every day I have this positive energy every time I'm around I'm around people and you know I always post positivity and I promote positivity and that's you know I want people to be happy all the time because I want to be happy all the time and like it's just it really, I guess, is kind of insulting when people think that I don't have bad days or when people think that, like, just because I'm skinny, you know, I must be so happy. I can't possibly hate anything about my body. People think that, oh, I'm pretty. I mustn't, like, hate anything about my face, you know, like... 
people think that like, oh, she's the president of two clubs, or, well, was, ah, oh, that's sad. <laughs> you know, she must have everyone, like, loving her, like, you know, they see that, you know, I make so many people laugh, and that I have a lot of people that I talk to, people think that I'm just this perfect being, or that I think I'm this perfect being, which in reality is not true. You know, I have my own demons. I really... I know how I come off. I know how I carry myself. And I know how I portray myself. Because that's the way I want people to see me. Like, I want people to see me as a happy, positive person. Because it will motivate me to be that happy, positive person all the time. And in return, it... It helps, you know, with me actually being happy because, like, hey, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but what I'm, I guess what I'm, like, trying to get at is, like, I don't like it when people just assume that I'm nothing more than a pretty face with a smile, if that makes sense. Like, yes, I do spend a lot of time getting ready in the morning. I spend about, like... I could spend up to two hours doing my makeup. Um, I usually don't. It usually takes about, like, 30 minutes if I'm in a rush. But, like, whatever. Who's timing me? <laughs> you know, I, I spend several, like, hours prior to whatever I'm going to to pick out an outfit. Like, I, I take a lot of time getting ready and thinking about my appearance. And it's not because I'm like not worried about everything else and it's not because I am necessarily self-conscious and it's not because of whatever ass assumptions you think it's simply because I think makeup is an art form for me I think fashion is a way to express myself and the way that I feel inside I like to be able to show that on the outside you know, I like to think that I'm just, uh, I don't know, I, I just like to to wear heels, and I like to wear dresses, and I like to wear a full beat face, you know, it's just, that's just how I am. And so when girls wear, or when girls look like that, when girls wear heels and have a pink bag and, you know have highlighted highlighted features to the gods and like when girls look like that and I know you guys are already picturing it so like just bear with me yeah, my English isn't that good <laughs> so when girls look like that people automatically assume that they are a b-word and it really really sucks because I'm not you know, I, man, I don't even know if this is going to be able to make it on YouTube because I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know if this is making any sense. Jesus. It's like, I know I portray myself in a diva way. Like, I know that's how I portray myself because I know that that gets a good response from people you know like I know people are gravitated towards people who are confident and who aren't afraid to you know talk to people and who aren't afraid to do anything you know I do and say what I want because at the end of the day I mean like why why have her like why not you know what I'm saying like mm <laughs> less things to apologize for because like I mm, I didn't lie to you you know what I'm saying like I didn't lie to you I said what I had to say I did what I had to do and if it hurt your feelings my bad boo my bad you know I just gosh I don't I don't know what to say I don't know if I'm even explaining this properly oh my god e okay um so yeah um I just wish that people could get to know me because what you see on the outside 
is it necessarily what's going on in the inside? You know, I, even when I have my worst days, even when I'm at my lowest point, I will still put on a smile and I will still make others happy before myself. I will still drive so many miles for someone to do something if they don't have a ride or for someone else to be happy. I will do that even on my lowest days because at the end of the day, all that I really want to do in life and all that I really want to leave the world with is happiness and positivity. So even whenever I am at my lowest, making others happy will make me happy. And I feel like that's I feel like that's something that people don't understand about me. Like I feel like people think that I'm all about myself, but that couldn't be more wrong. I am all for other people. I am I like I know for a fact that the reason I'm I was put on this earth was to make others happy and to make other people's lives a little bit better. And it really really breaks my heart when people think that I am arrogant and egotistical and self-absorbed in a quote-unquote shell of a human. I honestly I just I have so much love to give. And when people don't understand that, it really breaks my heart. And here I am, taking off my makeup to show you that I'm not hiding behind a mask. I don't wear makeup because I'm lying to people. I, I'm not hiding who I am. I am honest a hundred percent of the time I do not lie I really don't and I don't want people to lie to me and I don't want people to get the wrong impression of me because just because I spend like an hour and a half doing my makeup doesn't mean I won't spend an hour and a half making someone else happy and I don't know at the end of the day we're all human, we all have feelings, and we all get sad. And it takes a special type of person to stop and make someone happy. And I wish people would know and understand that that's what I'm here for. So comment something down below, like this video, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Blah blah blah, okay bye! <laughs>